Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie and in today's video we are talking about the Celine Spring Summer 2024 collection. They just released this collection online. This is a Celine loving handbag channel. So I thought we could take a look at some of my favorite looks from the runway, as well as some of the newest handbag releases. Now, if you love all things fashion week, I recently did a video with Chicago content creator, Caleb Snell. We talk about our top picks from some of our favorite shows. I will have that linked below. Okay guys, let's get right into the video. This show was all about casual and cool. Totally a 90s vibe. This runway was shot in the National Library of France. If you look at some of the pictures, it is beautiful inside. It's the architecture, the ornate details. I thought it was so cool how the models glided through the library. These models had a sexy, cool, androgynous vibe. This season's theme was Celine Tomboy. And they said it's an exploration of their day-to-day -day world, where they're going, where they've been, and what they're listening to. Not only are we talking about the 90s vibes, but also Eddie Sulmain's early design career. This show focused on the 90s, reminded me of the Michael Kors era of Celine. We're talking about that late 90s to early 2000. And you can see some of those looks with some of the materials that were used in this collection. I find it interesting some of the themes they used when it came to leopard prints. You saw that in some of the dresses. I used to love leopard back in the day, but not anymore. I tend to go with more neutral, solid type of prints. I thought it was so interesting that a lot of these pieces had a great mix between the grunge and the uptown chic. You could see metallic mini dresses paired with a leather biker jacket, blazers thrown over a beautiful silk piece, denim cutoffs paired with furry jackets. I want to talk about handbags. I thought this Lola bag gives me Fendi handbag vibes with one of Celine's older styles. They actually had a very similar baguette shoulder bag back in the early 90s, 2000 timeframe. I would actually say find this on the vintage market as you could probably save some money than buying it brand new. But this one, I like how it's got more that wearability because of that soft construction with the leather. And it does come in a couple different materials. This bag has more of a softer baguette-like shape and it makes it much more easier to put underneath your arm. The other new handbag they featured was the chain bag with a front flap. It's called the Victory. I think between the two handbags, I'd probably prefer more the Lola. I'd probably get a lot more day-to-day -day use considering this is more of a softer construction wearable style. My favorite looks were these jackets. I love the cream one and it's got the gold buttons. Now, I probably wouldn't pair the white jacket with those plaid shorts. However, the next look, which was a navy jacket with the denim, is more my vibe. It's total casual chic and this is very wearable. The other outfit that I really liked was this more athleisure jacket. It's black with the white pairing and it's got the coordinating shorts. The other piece that was a standout were the blazers. They had this beautiful plaid blazer. I love the look of this. The construction looks nice. When I saw some of the metallics sequins pairings with the black, it totally gave more of that rocker sheep vibe. Eddie Sulmain, known for his rocker chic style, I did enjoy how he paired the sequins, metallics dresses with more casual elements like a lug sole boot or even a black jacket. Really gave more of that juxtaposition to the look. In terms of the other looks, I thought some of them were more over the top, something I wouldn't wear. I mean, look at the metallic dress. Okay, guys, let me know what was your favorite handbag from the new releases as well as what was your favorite look? I'd love to hear it in the comments below and I will talk to you in my next video. Take care.